Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Welcome back to another great workout. This one I call my BTY ladder. Okay, it's a concept I learned or thought of a few years ago. Uh, in this workout, I'm going to do a biceps and chest ladder. Okay, the idea is we're going to start light, we're going to work our way up uh, with rest, and then come back down without resting in a drop set fashion. All right, so biceps first. The first rung of the ladder is a light movement, in this case, supine curls. All right, nice and light, getting the elbows warmed up, getting the biceps warmed up. This is 20 pounds. Again, we can do the ladder in a way that allows us to get warmed up as we go. So you still want to warm up, but if you do it uh, in a ladder fashion, starting with a light weight first, the warm up is not as uh, required or necessary because you are starting off with the light movement. So you're going 30 seconds of work and then 30 seconds of rest on your way up the ladder. Okay, so we get 30 seconds of work with the supine curls. Now we're going to rest 30 seconds. Okay, in this case, I'm going to do three rungs or three steps of the ladder. Uh, I do as many as five steps, but in this case, it's going to be a very short ladder, three steps up and then three steps down. Okay, so 30 on, 30 off going up. Now I'm going to go to hammer curls. A little bit heavier. I'm going 30 pounds now. Double hammer curls. Here we go. Same concept, guys. Elbows are tucked in. When you do any bicep movement, you want to maximize the movement of the forearm hinge or the forearm lever. Right? Try to pivot mostly on the elbow joint, minimizing the shoulder movement. I do a little rock because your body naturally moves that way. Uh, so you don't need to be too strict. But you do want to maximize the movement of the forearm lever. Okay, nice and tight. Good. Forearms are in. Uh, palms are facing in. Up and down. Again, 30 work, 30 rest, going up the ladder. All right, so now we're going to rest 45 seconds. The, the very top of the ladder is the hardest or heaviest movement. So because of that, you get into it late. It takes longer to kind of get set up and going. And the reps, by definition, because it's heavier, are slower. So for this one, I'm going to rest 45 seconds and then work 45 seconds. So I use the same timer, a 30 second timer. I'll just start at the 15 second mark and then work 15 seconds plus an additional 30 seconds for a total of 45 seconds. All right, here we go. I'm going to do double arm curls in this case with 40 pound dumbbells. Here we go. So I rotate my palms up. I go neutral grip on the bottom that allows you to go heavier and I do double. I do double curls typically because uh, I do timed workouts so I can get more reps in in a, in a 30 second time span. If these get heavy you can go single arm or one at a time individual but you do fewer reps if it's timed. Uh, so I usually do a double arm curl rotating my hands palms up on the top neutral grip on the bottom. Again, this is the heaviest part of the ladder, the top of the ladder, so I do 45 seconds. Good. Now I'm getting tired now, you see. I'm trying to fight through it. Uh, we got three seconds left. We got two. We won. Now I'm going to drop down without resting. So you go up the ladder with rest. You come down without rest. So back to step two or rung two with the hammer curls. Right? Now it's you're tired, so you start late, but you're tired from going up and coming down without stopping so the truncated or shortened uh, set or shortened station is okay because you're tired so we got forearms in right we got the, the palms in three two now we're going to drop down to our last first step which is the lightest weight the supine curls at 20 pounds elbows tucked in palms out going at an angle right elbows tucked in palms out going at an angle at this point I'm extremely tired trying to work through it burning them out we had 12 seconds I'm fighting through it we're trying to keep my elbows tucked in palms out pressure on the bicep the whole time we got three seconds left we got two we got one all right so now when I do two body parts I go right to the next ladder of the opposing body part right away. I do opposing push-pull movements, right? Sometimes I'll do, do two big body parts. In this case, I'm doing one small body part, biceps, and one big body part, chest. But I always do a pull movement first, either back or biceps, and then a push, 
triceps or chest. Okay, so we're doing dumbbell presses. Again, same concept. First rung of the ladder is the lightest of the movements. So I'm doing a dumbbell press here with 50 pound dumbbells. This is, again, allows you to warm up as you're going. Okay, so this is the lightest of the movements. As you go up the ladder, again, this is my second body part. So I'm going up the ladder. As you go up, you rest in between. So 30 work, 30 rest, going up the ladder. We got five seconds left. Good, two, one. Okay, so we're going to rest now. All right, now we're going to step two of the ladder or rung two. I'm going to go up and wait to 60 pound dumbbells. Okay, we're going to rest going up the ladder. I love doing this, guys, because it, it keeps you on point, on task. It's a quick workout. It's a good burn. It hurts a lot, but it's quick. And you know how long it's going to be before you start. Here we go. Five seconds rest. We're going up to 60 pounds now. Two, again, 30 seconds work. 30 rest going up the ladder. Here we go. A little heavier now. Still light-ish, right? We're not trying to go too heavy to begin with. 15 seconds left, coming down slow, right? Bringing the dumbbell down to my chest. Elbows are backing out. Good, getting tired now. Good, we got three seconds left. We got two. Now we can rest. Good, rest 30 again. Sorry, rest 45. Okay, so the top of the movement, the top of the ladder is the heaviest whether it's three rungs or five rungs. So on that top of the ladder, you want to rest longer before you start for, for two reasons. Number one, it's the heaviest. So by nature, that, uh, that movement or that, that weight is going to take more time because each rep is slower because it's heavier. You're also going to drop without stopping. Right? You go up resting, you come down without rest. So you allow yourself a little bit more rest before starting this non-stop descent on the ladder. So here we go. In five seconds, I'm going 70-pound dumbbells now. This is the top of the, the ladder. Here we go. And if you start late, as I'm doing here, that's fine. This is the heaviest part of the, of the, uh, of the ladder. So you might, you probably won't outlast the timer on this one. So if you start late, you're normally okay because you can't go 45 seconds anyway. Probably. If you can, it's probably too light. Here we go. 20 seconds. And remember, we're going to drop down right away after this set. 12 seconds left. 8 seconds left. Getting tired, getting tired. Push it out. Good. 3 seconds left. 2 one. Now we drop right away to step two or rung two of the ladder. In this case, it's 60 pound dumbbells. And here we go. We're tired now. We're starting late, but it's okay. We're still not going to be able to outlast the timer probably. Super tired at this point. 10 seconds. 7 seconds. Here we go. 3 seconds. Two seconds, one second. Here we go. Last step, coming down. Last step. The lowest step is 50 pound dumbbells. Right away, you're super tired at this point, but you're fighting through. We got 20 seconds left. Again, we're so tired, we still won't outlast the timer probably. 15 seconds left. Bang them out. We'll burn them out. We'll burn them out. 10 seconds. Seven seconds. Five seconds. Three. Two, one. And that is how we do a bicep to chest ladder.